to be broken. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. So today is Friday. Finally. Finally, I don't have to hear you say, <laughs> I can't wait till Friday. I can't wait till Friday. <laughs> so I have a game today, and it's an away game. So Jersey and then leggings. Um, I have a Spanish test, and that's about it. Did you get your note card stuff? <laughs> no. Huh. I have two more. <laughs> Um, but I don't really know how today's gonna go. Kind of just want it to get over with and just, you know, go and like be done, be done with. for the weekend. Yeah. Because I just can't with school anymore. Anyways, we're here. Um, I brought my bow just in case. Coach Julie said to wear a bow, but then in the group chat, they're like, don't, you can wear your hair however you want. So honestly, wait, if she has, um, I think we were supposed to wear it with a bow. You were? Yeah. Why, where's someone with a bow? Cammy has her bow in and it said wear your hair however you want, but it didn't say a bow, but I don't know. We'll see. Who knows? <laughs> okay, bye. All right, guys. I'm not dressed or anything, but I was just kind of searching around on the internet and I found this article about Emma and it's so cute. Hold on, I'm sorry. That's my mother, let me take my call. Okay, so I'm back. So anyways, if you haven't seen this article, it's on Tube Filter and I shared it uh, Twitter and I shared it on our Instagram story so you just have to swipe up if you see the story and you can read the article, it's really cute. Uh, I sent it to Emma in school, and she just texted me back, and she said, Oh, I really like that article. So, she's doing amazing things. Um, she's definitely changed in the last couple months. Uh, she's very goal-oriented, uh, and I'm proud of her for that. And I guess all my complaining worked. <laughs> Um, so she's doing almost straight A's in school, dealing with all this chaos and whatever that's going on, and still succeeding. So I am very proud of her and very happy with the path that she has chosen in life. Um, and Ellie is just now ten and a half, just getting to that point where, you know, Emma was almost 12 when we started YouTube. So. She's getting to that point. I think like next year will be the biggest change for LA because of middle school. Um, so I, I'm excited to see how much, you know, hard work Ellie is gonna put out there uh, for herself. I feel like Ellie is gonna kill it just because she has her sister to look up to and copy off of. So I don't know, I'm very proud of my kids. Um, just wanted to share that because it's not often that they are super excited and happy uh, about achievements that they've reached. So, um, very proud of them. Very proud of them, both. Uh, Ellie is doing amazing in soccer, so I'm proud of her for that. And it's the first time that she's actually stuck with something, too. So, uh, she's definitely growing up, too. It's that time to pick up Emma from school, and it's Friday. I'm sure you'll hear her say that a hundred more times. <laughs> Um, so Emma has a game and I think she has to be on the bus by six. So, uh, update on me. I'm doing pretty good. I have stayed out of reading and learning, uh, new things, uh, um, that have maybe come up for the day. I've just kind of avoided all of it and I don't even care anymore. Um, it is time that I have my life back and it's time that our family has our life back as well. Um, and just not giving a crap about people. Just not at all. Um, and you can say that that's mean of me. You can say that that's rude. Um, but I promise you, when the full story comes out, think twice. You will definitely reassess your opinion on my attitude right now. So 
I'm actually having a good day. Um, I've gotten some stuff down at the house, um, just like paperwork wise and, and stuff like that um, for some of the changes that are coming our way. Um, <clears throat> I watched an episode of, what, of The Walking Dead. Um, <laughs> we're on now season five. So it was the final episode of season four. Emma, like I said, has cheer. So I think we're going to the game. I'm not 100% sure, but I know that I really want a candy bar. <laughs> and I know that's like really random. Um, but yeah, I want a candy bar and some chocolate and um, maybe that's my way of dealing with stress. And now I'm just want some chocolate or some brownies. Brownies would be amazing. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to stop at a gas station, uh, whether that's when I drop off Emma or before we go to the football game, either way. And then, um, and yeah, that's pretty much how our night is going to go. Hopefully Emma had a good day at school. I know they had homecoming nominations, uh, today for each class. Not that we at all think that she would ever be nominated because jealousy is a awful thing. Um, but yeah, so it'd be kind of cool to see if any of her friends get nominated for homecoming, uh, court because the queen obviously is a senior and that's not Emma's grade. Um, but yeah, so anyways, we'll see how Emma's day is. My day has been amazing and I hope your day is amazing. I'm home from school. It is Friday. <laughs> Guys, you don't know how happy I am that it's Friday. I can't deal with school anymore. Okay, that's really bad that I'm not living day by day. But anyways, um, so I took my Spanish test and listen guys, um, I got a 90 on my Spanish test. So this is thriving in that class. But uh, funny story, I got in trouble for cheating on the test. <laughs> you just say. The person that she thought I was cheating with got an 85 and I got a 98. So like, kind of like tell me how uh, I was cheating. Um, but basically when she handed out the test, um, the girl next to me asked me a question and the teacher goes like, like that. And it wasn't, even, we didn't even like talk during the test or anything. So she like sent me and the girl over to our cheer coach because <laughs> our cheer coach coach teaches Spanish and like she was just like blah 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 apologize and tell her that you weren't cheating and then she was like the, t the teacher that I have that got me in trouble said she said that it's just teacher's instinct if you guys are talking during the test and obviously we were not supposed to talk during the quiz or test but it was like one question and it was like right when she handed us the paper so I mean I get why we got in trouble and I get that it's obviously teachers and students and stuff, but um, that was my first time ever getting in trouble for cheating. I don't ever cheat on my tests, like I'm too afraid. Um, I'm gonna touch up my makeup because I'm really oily and I also have to do my hair and then I have to get dressed. This game is gonna be like one of those. I don't think my parents are going to it because it is an hour away. Wish they could go it because really none of the kids go, like from the school go. But um, yeah, so we'll see. I don't really know. It's up to them. But before I got ready, that's why it's taking me like so long to get ready and get productive. Is because I was watching the new movie, Tall Girl, and it was really cute. It turned out really cute, and I actually really like it. <laughs> it was a good movie. Um, I touched up my makeup. So now I am going to get dressed. So this morning I like shaved my legs. <laughs> it, wait, no, I think I shaved them yesterday. So I'm good on that. So all I have to do is get dressed and then we'll do my hair after I put my uniform on. Okay, so I'm dressed. I have to do my hair. First, I have to grab my bow. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, so here's my water bottle. I have to fill it up. Uh, everyone provides like game, I mean games. Everyone provides water and Gatorade. So I just keep this so I can like have my own water, but uh, we don't have the free hills. Oh my God. All right, I hate, I don't know if this is a me or not, if it's just me or not, but I hate applying deodorant like on camera and I hate people watching me apply it. It's like, makes me cringe inside. <laughs> 
Okay, the next thing that I have to do is I need to pack my snacks because last time I was starving. So I left at like the same time as this game last week and we didn't get home until 10 o'clock and I ate dinner at 10 o'clock, which I just made eggs and toast, which I'll probably do tonight. Um, but I just do bring snacks so I can have them on the way there and then on the way back and then also half time, but someone provides snacks half time, but I just bring them for the road trip. <laughs> we got cheese it Nutter Butters, Pringles, and uh, um, Gushers. They can go in here. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> all right, so I think I'm all good. I don't really have anything else to do. I think it's like, it's 5.15, so I'll pro I'll leave at like 4, 4, 4.35. So it gives us 10 minutes. It won't, it doesn't take that long to get to the school. We're in the car. We're on our way. It's 5.33. Um, I called my mom. I had a ride. One of the girls were on their way, but I just called her and asked her, and she was at the neighbor's house, so I just called her. Where did you think I was? I just, oh. I knew you were at the neighbor's oh, house. Okay. I wasn't going to walk over there and, come on! <laughs> um, but we will be early because, like I said, it's like five minutes, not even, but I just wanted to be there early because I feel like I've been late all the time because my mom doesn't usually take me anymore <laughs> so we're here in the parking lot um i'm pretty sure we'll be loading at exactly 5 45 since there's a lot of buses but i think they're all for band if you don't know we have a really good band and our band is the size of a college band so all right guys it is late we didn't end up going to the game it started raining and it was an hour drive we went to the pet store, got bedding because the hedgehog's cage needs cleaned something awful tomorrow. Uh, I was going to order it on Amazon, but I decided not to because it would take two days to get here. So I've tried this new crinkle paper. Anyway, so I'm ready to start my weekend tomorrow. I'm ready to at least sleep until 8. Would be great. <laughs> And uh, Emma's on her way home. She should probably be home about 11.30. I'll have to make her dinner. I think I'm gonna make her scrambled eggs, I guess. But that's only if she texts me that she's nearby so I can get it done before she gets home. And then that's pretty much it. We'll see how her game went. We won the game, boys. It was 50, 55 to 28. So we always, we, we took an L last week, but tonight we bounced back. <laughs> that was one of the captions. Um, one, of, one of the girls on the team <laughs> said, um, anyways, so we won the game. It was really good. The school that we went to, that we played, is a really nice school. Like, I'm pretty sure it just opened two years ago, and it's huge, and it's really nice. But it's like a very... Since it just opened, it's a very boring school. Like, it's not really, like, how to, like, not sportsmanship, but, like, interactive. Like, an interactive school. So, anyways, but it was so nice. The bathrooms were amazing. I couldn't, can't even, our school can't. <sighs> Today was a really good day. Um, I got eaten alive by mosquitoes. Let me just tell you the amount of times I was eaten by mosquitoes. Like, it was awful. Um, but this game was actually really, really fun. It was a small game, but there was a very big crowd, surprisingly. It was just parents, and the band took up the whole student section. And, I mean, there was a couple of students, but not the ones that I really knew or whatever. Um, but there's lots of dances. It was just, like, a good game. Like, it, you know, when you know. But anyways, I got kicked in the face. I think that's pretty sure that's the elbow. I get the elbow to the face. This hurts so bad. It's awful. I'm getting beat up. <laughs> but anyways, it's really late. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to sleep in tomorrow. Like, I, Alexa, do I have any alarms set? Your alarm is set for every weekday at 7 a.m. Okay. I don't, I think the weekday is just Monday through Friday. Okay, if she wakes me up in the morning, I'm gonna throw fit. <laughs>